Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, we're talking about luminance range masks in Lightroom, and I got a question from someone about how can I create just a, a traditional luminosity mask in Lightroom where the shadows are least affected and the highlights are most affected using a luminance range mask. And uh, so it'd be easiest to show that by example here in this video. So uh, let's take this photo here, and uh, I've done some basics on it, but uh, for the sake of argument, I want to apply some type of luminance range mask, but like a traditional luminosity mask. So what I mean by traditional is it covers the entire photo. And so we go into luminance range mask normally, and we get this picker, right? And we can go around and pick things. And I don't know, say we wanted to do something to the shadows. We click the shadows. We get this kind of view of the range mask. It's showing you the tones that you've selected and some sort of range to cover that. You know, as we see over here in the panel, the shadows are affected, and then there's a feathering and a tapering out to you know, like the low mid-tone. So it's not really affecting the whole photo. So how do you go about creating that traditional luminosity mask? Uh, let's do that here. The first thing I want to do is actually change our overlay mode. Let's do white on black. And so what's that showing now is a very traditional mask, right? If the white areas they're showing here, that means I'm affecting those areas with the sliders. I start increasing exposure. We see that happening, right? So how do we get this traditional mask where the shadows are least affected and the highlights are most affected? Let me just start from square zero here. We'll delete the masks, add a luminance range mask. This is how we normally start. The simplest thing to do is just go right into the panel here and take this control here and push it all the way to the right and then take the feather and pull it back all the way to the left. What we've just done is said affect the highlights the most. There's a very, very narrow range at the upper end of our highlights and then smoothly transition that to no effect in the shadows. And we see that when we have this, uh, this overlay of white on black we see a mask that looks just like a black and white version of the photo. And that is our traditional luminosity mask where the highlights, the upper midtones will receive more of whatever adjustments you make and the shadows have less. Of course, if you want the opposite, we click the invert button. You get what appears like a photo negative of your image and now you're affecting the shadows the most and the highlights the least. So that's the, the simple answer really is just to start straight away in the luminance range mask and repeat that step here. Let's reset to what we normally have. We start off with everything being affected, grab your left control on the range and pull it all the way to the right, grab your left side feathering, pull that all the way to the left, and then you have your traditional luminosity mask. This has its place in workflow. Uh, admittedly, more often I am using the picker and targeting certain tonal regions. But when you do need that uh, full spectrum luminosity mask, this is how you do it. Hope you found the video useful. You got any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.